All you have to do is look around just a tiny little bit on Twitter to see a certain image of a Smash Brothers roster that's got everybody and their mom telling me about it at least. And if you guys are telling me about it by the boatload, then I know that it's got to be getting passed around on sites like Reddit and other places like that. And sure enough, I'm correct. Now, you might not know the image that I'm talking about specifically, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of backstory as to what I'm referencing here. Um, on Twitter, maybe two days ago, to start getting a huge influx of direct tweets showing me this image. Not this one, by the way. This is, this is clearly not the image. This is someone when you realize that North American Smash is less than two weeks away. Yeah. But um, the image is not this one in particular, but one that involves some characters that I made a rant about. Now, ever since that rant, you know, I mean, some of you guys made some legit arguments. I've calmed down a little bit, you know. I've accepted that, you know, this is the game that we have, you know, even though my main argument was that there shouldn't be any cut content in these games because of technical limitations of one console over the other. They should still try to fit in as much as they can if it's possible. Because, you know, I think Ice Climber still should have been included, even if the 3DS couldn't accept the um even if the 3ds couldn't process it because you know i mean that's extra content that i think that we you should definitely get but i mean hey i i'm starting to understand and you know hey okay but um the issue with this picture that was um shown around is the fact that it involves these characters that were cut from the roster being in there except for ice climbers now here's the image in question right in fact, I got a bigger version of it on my computer. Take a look at this, right? Now, as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, there's three familiar faces down there which weren't initially included. And even though I know a lot of people can say this is easily fake, it does look pretty real to me. I'm not saying I believe it, but it looks legitimate, but it's easy enough to manipulate. I mean, it's just simply the character select screen with some extra portraits and, you know, that's it. I mean, the thing is, we haven't really seen renders like this before, really, but it's so small and the, and the quality is so messed up that it could easily be emulated. Now, I want to just go through this with you guys. I, I'm i going to say that it's fake, obviously, because, you know, we have the full roster. The game was totally hacked. And, um, well, I don't mean hacked, but I mean the game was totally opened up because the, the ROM was dumped online. And Smashboard totally analyzed every single bit of data. And the only thing that was suspicious about the ROM was the fact that there were arrows on the character select screen and there were arrows on the stage select screen as well. But none of those support the fact that Lucas, Mewtwo, and Wolf are here because if there was another page then on the character select screen that was initially there, then you know it would take more than three characters to make it so that there was another page needed. I'm just thinking it was probably leftover data and perhaps just old ideas that never really got taken out of the ROM. You know, things like that. But I I don't think this is real. Now I was shown something uh, about yesterday around uh, 5 a.m. A strange time they gave me a message but someone messaged me on YouTube and I wanted to show you guys what the person messaged me because it definitely piqued my curiosity and I want to I want to show it to you guys before I give you my analyzation of it and tell you if I think it's real or not. So this person named Joseph Hammond, shout outs to you, Joseph, because he sent me this image. And like I said, it definitely raises an eyebrow or two. So let's go. The image is actually on Imager and it involves the Miiverse and that exact same picture that we just looked at. Now, as you can see here, this is someone's Miiverse account, and it says right here, you have received the notification from the Miiverse ad, um, administrators. And so let's go down to what they said. Messages exchanged with the Miiverse administration. Your post contains strategic information or other spoiler content about a game. Some people do not want to see such information. The next time you make a post containing spoiler information, be sure to check the spoiler box before making your post. For information about proper use of Miiverse, please contact or please see the Miiverse code of conduct. So now if we move down and view the post, the post itself was this one from some guy who looks like Sakurai, but he's not Sakurai, but just some dude making a post. Like, wow, not even the game coming out can stop potential leaks. And the post itself was that one with Lucas, Mewtwo, and Wolf. Very strange, right? Why would the Miiverse administrators take down this image of Lucas, Mewtwo, and Wolf? Like, that would only that would only show that it's real. Somewhat like how Nintendo, when um, when is that true? The dude on YouTube, remember, who leaked the footage of Shulk Bowser Jr. and he leaked a ton of footage, and Nintendo lost their mind and totally like banhammered his channel and a lot of other channels as well too. You guys remember that, right? Well, this is kind of going along with that because I mean, if Nintendo takes action or maybe not Nintendo in general, but if there's, if there's some kind of authority figure in Nintendo, even if it is as low as the Miiverse administrators, who take action against these kinds of things, then it could very well be said that the content posted itself is true. But that is my emotional mind thinking. Now let's use our scientific brains to analyze this. Obviously, 
the Miiverse ad administrators would take down the image regardless of what kind of spoiler content was in there, even if it was just a little bit, and even if it was compiled with fake spoiler content as well too. Now Lucas, Mewtwo, and Wolf could very well be the reason that this was taken down, but so could Duck Hunt Dog, Rob, Lucina, Dr. Mario, uh, Dark Pit, all these guys. Uh, this roster that's been posted that's being taken down on Miiverse right now doesn't just include, you know, Lucas Mutual Wolf includes everybody else in the game too, who needs to be unlocked. And Sakurai made it specifically clear that he does not want characters who have not been unlocked yet to be talked about until the North American version comes out, which I find ridiculous in my opinion because, I mean, he's acting like people in America haven't seen these new characters when they obviously have. I mean, maybe you could say that in 2002, but I mean, it's the age of information, baby. I mean, it's, this stuff gets around faster than, than newspapers can handle, you know? I mean, I don't know, it's, it's, it's on Kotaku, if, like, if a little kid's not reading an article on Kotaku talking about these new characters, then he's seeing, uh, then he's seeing a post on YouTube about his, from his favorite YouTuber in Smash Brothers you know, talking about the new characters. Although, there are some people that don't want to get spoiled before the game comes out, and I respect you guys totally. So that's why I've been taking the proper precautions to, in, to ensure that, you know, spoiler content is not just exposed all over my channel in terms of, you know, thumbnails and titles. But, um, anyways, what do you guys think of this image? Now, like I said, you know, I just pretty much broke it down with, you know, why Miiverse took this down. So, legitimacy concerns are definitely there. But, I mean, if this is true, then, wow. You know, I mean, a lot of people are saying that the 3DS version connecting to the Wii U version is what gets characters to get unlocked. But at this point, I think it would just be reaching if you guys, if, you, if we say that there's more characters to be there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, of course I want to believe, but I'm definitely not willing to throw away my, my realistic side on this one. No way. I mean... And we don't have enough, you know? The thing that makes spoilers or leaks way more believable if there's, there's multiple pictures, multiple sources, multiple backups, but there aren't. Just one picture, not believable in my idea, at least in my eyes. I mean, we've seen images like this be faked totally. I mean, there was one with Shrek, so I, <laughs> I don't know. Don't take this one at all. I don't even want to say take it with a grain of salt. Take this shit with a glass of water, man. Like, No, no, fuck it. Take this shit with a glass of air. That's it. All right, guys, so um, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.